Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aisha, if this is your first time here. And today, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys everything that I've been loving, that I've been obsessed with, that I've wanted to just scream at you guys how much I've been loving. And I haven't done like a favorites video and I, I feel like I haven't just talked about product in a long time. Anyways, this is kind of a mix of beauty products, there's skincare, there's some fashion items here as well, um, and of course, a bunch of makeup. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you are new to my channel, I would love it. If you guys subscribe to my channel, join the fam down below and yeah, we are almost at 300K, which is super, super exciting. I know I keep mentioning this in every single video, but shameless plug, subscribe to my channel, help me reach 300K. Uh, but yeah, let's get into this video. Um, I'm really excited. I hope you enjoy. So I'm gonna start off with skincare and hair care products because there's not a lot. I intend to do a full skincare routine video very soon. Um, and I think I'm actually gonna be incorporating a new type of skincare series on my channel. You guys know I talk about skincare a lot and you may have noticed also that I switch out my skincare products a lot as well. That's just because I'm trying out a lot of stuff for you guys. I'm trying to see what works best for my skin type. I just moved to LA so the climate is completely different than what it was on the East Coast in Toronto. So my skin has just been changing and yeah I say all of that to let you guys know that I will be incorporating kind of like my monthly skincare routine so that you guys can see what has changed month to month and what new products I'm trying um, and whatnot. Anyways, uh, the two products that I'm sharing with you today, I, I mean, I just have two. The first one is this guy over here. This is the Laneige Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer. And you can see how much of this guy I have used up already. I actually first tried this out on the South Korea trip that I went on with Laneige and Sulwasu and Amore Pacific and all the other brands, but uh, this was one that they were introducing to us. I think it is just launching in North America. If it hasn't launched already, I'm not really sure, but um, basically it's like a toner and moisturizer in one. Not to say that you don't use a moisturizer afterwards, but Basically, I don't know, I feel like toners have a wrap of being kind of drying and to just remove the last bit of makeup. That's not what toners are about. They're just supposed to prep the skin for the next couple products that you use afterwards. And this truly, truly does that while adding a ton of hydration. Like they did a test on me in Korea and they just did a patch test on my arm. My arm without the test was like 35% hydration. Um, after putting on a random moisturizer, it was like 65%, which was still an increase. But then on a separate area when they put this on and tested it, it was um, over 100% hydration, which is quite impressive. So this definitely gives you super, super hydrated skin. I love the texture of it. It's kind of like this milky consistency, as you can see. If you're looking for a good toner that is super duper hydrating, that will be a great prep to the rest of your skincare. I highly recommend this one. Um, and then the next product is also another very, very moisturizing product. A little bit more luxurious. I really like Laneige because they are at a really great price point, but they still have all of the research backed up. The brand Amore Pacific owns Laneige and they have like a ton of research that they do on all their products. So for the price point, you're getting a really, really great product. This, on the other hand, I don't know too much about how they create the products, but I will say I really like it. It's the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream, and this is what it looks like. It's super cute because it actually has a little spoon up top that you can actually use to scoop the product out. But the inside is of course what matters. You can see I have used a lot of this product. And the reason I like it is that it truly is what it says it does. It's very, very dewy on the skin. I really like using this on days where I'm wearing more like glam, full coverage makeup because it just gives a really beautiful like bounce and plumpness to the skin. But then of course, even at night, it's super, super hydrating and it's just a beautiful formula, texture, hydration. It's specifically made for dry skin. I don't necessarily have dry skin, but I find it is more dry um, now that I'm here living in LA. And yeah, it's really, really good. So I've been liking that and it's just really beautiful on the vanity, so. And then I have two hair products here. Um, you guys know I'm a huge fan of Whey. I still am a huge fan of their products. I really love their curl line. I use their uh, shampoo, conditioner, and their treatment. But I've been playing around with different products just to see 
what worked the best for my curls after the shower and this has been them um, so this is by Orbe it's their priming lotion leave-in conditioning detangler so I use this right after washing out my deep conditioner like while my hair is still soaking wet you can see how much of it I've actually used I probably used it about five times now I want to say for five washes maybe a couple more I'm not really sure but it is actually way more than five that's a lie Either way, it doesn't matter how long I've been using it for, I noticed an instant difference in my curls. They actually just came out with an entire curl line, which is really, really cool. They have a, a, a bunch of other products in the curl line as well. This just happens to be my favorite. And the reason I like it, I really like the consistency of it. It doesn't get too slimy in the hair, but it also doesn't feel... I don't know, some leave-in conditioners can be too thin. So by the time it's like worked into your hair, you feel like you don't even have anything in and then you just put a bunch more in and then just weighs down your hair and gets crunchy. This doesn't do that. You don't need a lot of this product. So I've been really liking this in combination actually with this guy. Now this is a little sample size that I got at Sephora and I think I like went back and kept like buying things off Sephora and getting more samples. So I have like a ton of these. I've gone through two or three now. This is um, unopened. So I'm very happy that I found it. I thought I was all out and I was gonna repurchase a full size, but I have one more to continue using. But this is the Diva Curl Super Cream Coconut Curl Styler and it is for um, to define and control. So this is the product that I use after the leave-in conditioner, kind of like to style my hair. And I do it the same way. If you guys watch my hair care tutorial video, you guys will kind of see the technique that I use, but I just, I forget. It's like the praying hands technique. I think someone commented in under my video. It's like when you press your hair. So that's what I do with this and I work it through my roots all the way to my ends and it just gives the most gorgeous curl. Like it looks beautiful when it's wet, but it looks even more beautiful when it's dry. And the thing that I love about these two in combination is that your curls actually last without getting frizzy for a really, really long time. And for someone who wears the hijab, who is constantly putting her hair in a bun, um, taking it out, putting her hair in a bun, sleeping, you know, with it all crazy. I do sleep with a bonnet. Um, it's just amazing that the curls actually last more than like two days. I find the curls last about four days with me uh, without getting frizzy or tangled or anything. And I just, I love these two products. So if you haven't tried any of these, I do recommend it. I definitely will be repurchasing the full size of the Diva Curl and probably this product as well. I don't know. I'm gonna try out my old leave-in conditioner, which is a little less expensive than the Orbe first, but I'm definitely gonna be repurchasing um, the Diva Curler. There's one more skincare product that I forgot to mention. It is this guy. It's by Skinceuticals, which it's an expensive brand, guys. I don't even want to search up how much this is, but it's their Glycolic 10 Renew Overnight. It looks like this. And I'm still kind of confused about whether this is a like a product that you put on as a moisturizer or like a mask and then you put products over it. What I do is I finish all my skincare and then I will just put this right over top my moisturizer. And I use this specifically on days where my skin is super, super textured. So this happens to me about once a month or once every other month. My skin just breaks out in texture. I don't know what it is to this day. And I know a lot of you guys probably will think I'm lying, but I promise I'm not. My skin literally becomes bumpy and textured. I just obviously don't film or you know, show myself on Instagram on those days because I'm very self-conscious about it, even though I shouldn't be. But this gets rid of it so, so quickly. Before, I would just kind of like let it go away on its own and it would take about a week. But this, I promise you, like within two days, I feel like my skin is back to normal, which is insane. It does burn a little bit um, because of the high concentration of glycolic acid, but I love it so much. You know what? I want to search how much this is. <sighs> okay, let me brace myself. It has literally like five star review though. A 4.9 star review on their actual website out of 28 reviews. It's $80. That's actually much better than I thought it would be. For some reason, I thought it would be over $100. So I will definitely be repurchasing this because I see how amazing it is. And I only use a little bit. Like I've had this for quite a long time now. I'll use it like maybe three times out of the month because um, that's when my skin really needs it. It is a high concentration of glycolic acid. So you want to be careful with it. But if you have a similar problem with texture, I'm um, just like little bumps. They're almost like whiteheads, but they don't have the white head. It's like underneath the skin or something. I don't know. It's very, very strange. I would give this a try. Maybe try and get a sample somehow. It's just beautiful. I absolutely love it.
Okay, so that is it for skincare, kinda. Moving on into beauty. Um, this is kinda like in between beauty and skincare, but this is a sunscreen that I've been obsessed with. You guys know the importance of sunscreen by now. I feel like I talk about it in so many videos. But this is the brand Super Goop. They're clean beauty. And I'll explain why this isn't available in Canada and why I still wanna keep talking about it. It's clean, so it doesn't have any oxybenzone, which is actually not a great product in sunscreens. A lot of chemical sunscreens have that, and they have actually made it a point to ban ingredients that are not safe for the skin, but still work with the skin, if that makes sense. I don't know, just go to their Instagram. They have like a whole like press release that they uh, mentioned, but it's just a really, really great sunscreen. It's clear, it's just kind of like a no fuss. You almost can't even see it on my hand. If you watch my most recent makeup tutorial, the one that I posted right before this, I think, depending on when I post this video, um, you can see how it actually looks on the skin, but it blends out perfectly. It's SPF 40 PA++++ and it's amazing. And you can wear it on its own or under makeup. And if you wear it on its own, it has a really nice smoothing texture. So it'll smooth out any bumps or pores and make your skin look beautiful while still being protected from the sun. Another product specific for summer, I also just talked about this in my most recent makeup tutorial, but it's the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. This has SPF 30. It is a tinted moisturizer. It is not a foundation. It is very, very light coverage, but I love it. For a while, I never used tinted moisturizers. I actually used to just mix in my foundation with a moisturizer to make kind of like a tinted moisturizer, but it was never the same. And that was because I could never find a tinted moisturizer that worked for my skin tone, but this one is beautiful. They have three darker shades after this one, which is very, very rare. I'm usually the darkest shade with, um, all the tinted moisturizers that I've tried, and it's beautiful. It leaves a gorgeous glow on the skin, very undetectable, it won't even look like you're wearing makeup, but it just evens out your skin tone in the perfect way. Of course, adds another layer of SPF protection, which is very, very important for anti-aging, dark spots, all that good stuff, protecting you from skin cancer, etc. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Then moving on for concealer, I actually have, you know what, I'm gonna talk about Kaja completely right now because I have a lot of products from them. Kaja Beauty just kind of like took the world by storm, I feel like. Honestly, probably not. They're not that popular. If you haven't heard of them, they're available at Sephora. They're a K-beauty or Korean beauty inspired brand and they make really, really great products, like genuinely good quality products um, that have that kind of like K-beauty flair, but are definitely a lot more inclusive in my opinion. So I have a couple products here that I wanna share. The first one is a concealer, and this is the Don't Settle Concealer. I have the shade um, Candy Ginger over here. I also have another shade, I think it's called like Chai Pudding. Yeah, I'm actually using it right now. I have this shade under my eyes right now, which again is candy ginger. And it just gives a beautiful look to your under eyes. It's very, very fresh. I also use this product in my last makeup tutorial if you wanna see how it applies, just so you guys can see. Um, and I just, I love it. So that is definitely a favorite. Love that. And then the other products are actually eyeshadows from them. And these are called the Beauty Bentos, which this is so cute. I love this concept. So basically it is kind of like inspired by the bento box where it's like just convenience. Um, and this has three shades in it. So they're, they just open like this. I have an entire um, Instagram video if you guys wanna see me using this one in specific. And then as well as some other Kaja Beauty products. And yeah, this is what it looks like. And it has a little mirror as well. So with the new ones that just came out, they have two mattes and one shimmer. All the old ones that they had were all shimmer, which is not very like convenient. I mean, they are beautiful. They're kind of those shimmers that leave a beautiful sparkle on the eyes, um, but I think I like their new collection a lot more. So, and then Chocolate Dahlia has also been a favorite. I really, really like the shimmer in this one. Um, and yeah, I think I, with the shimmers, they apply best with your fingertips. With the uh, mattes, just a blending brush works perfectly and they blend out so nice. They are so pigmented and they have like a ton of different shades and stuff so definitely check them out i think they are just like so easy to travel with as well i took this with me um to korea and it's just like very easy like you don't think about it you just have like if you really want an orange look while you're traveling you just throw this in and like it's literally as small as a lip balm and then the last product by kaja that i want to chat about is i think it's called the curated nude lipstick and liner i love this concept they basically just came out with like a liner and lipstick combo but you can see on this side it's kind of like a very thin tip for lip liner and then this side's a little more fat. This is in 06 Daybreak and it's basically just a brown. I wanted something that I could easily put on my lips as a lip liner. Um, 
and paired up with any color. And I really like this. It kind of reminds me of the MAC Chestnut, just not as deep and harsh. And it's just like a really, really beautiful lip. So love these, highly recommend them. They have a bunch of shades that are all in nudes. I think this might be the darkest one, but they might have one after that's a little bit darker. I can't remember. But either way, they have like a nude for everyone, which I think is just genius. And I just love that they position themselves as a K-beauty brand, but they're very inclusive in all their shades and everything shows up really, really nicely on deeper skin tones and it's just fun. Yeah, love Kaja. The next product is a bronzer and this is literally falling apart because I use this so much and apparently don't take good care of it. Um, but this is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and it's in the shade Endless Summer. This has been kind of like my go-to bra. Oh my God, this is literally disgusting. I'm so sorry y'all, but this is what it looks like. I don't want to touch it. It is so filthy. This has been my go-to bronzer because it is the perfect bronze shade for my skin tone. If I wanna build this up, I can almost even use it as a contour. And they have one more shade deeper than this as well, so I find it is very inclusive. <sighs> Firstly, this smells so, so good. And it's almost like a cream to powder formula, so it just blends on the skin so, so beautiful. It has like micro shimmers in it, or almost just like a sheen that leaves a beautiful glow on the cheeks, and I love it. So. Moving on, I wanna chat lashes because I always get asked either what mascara I'm wearing or what lashes I'm wearing. So I'll start with the lashes that I'm wearing right now because I know I get a lot of questions about these. These are the lashes that I literally wear every single day of my life whenever I'm wearing lashes and they look like this. I just have the ones in a package because I'm actually wearing these. I think I purchased like four pairs of these after I initially tried it out because I fell in love with them and I wore my first pair like over 15 times and it was just getting really ratchet at that point, so <laughs> I had to pick some up. They're available at certain Ulta's, not all of them, so just check it out online. Um, but this is the Lash Couture, and it's their new Naked Drama collection. This is by Kiss Lashes. They are a drugstore brand. These lashes are literally like $6.99 US or like 10 bucks Canada, Canadian, or a little less, I don't really know. But they are just, guys, the best lashes I have ever tried, I have ever worn. They take little to no time to apply because they have like a super, super thin flexible band and what can I say? I just love them. I think they just look so beautiful on the eyes as you can see and uh, yeah. So if you guys are looking for a great everyday lash or just something that gives a lot of like length and just like wispiness to your eyes, but not too much volume where it just looks like you have a caterpillar on your eyes, I think these are a great, great option. And then also, oh, I forgot the mascara. This is the mascara that I have been loving, loving lately. It is the Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara. It is their new one. I know there's kind of like mixed reviews on this because the wand is quite fat. This is what the wand looks like. So it reminds me a lot of the Better Than Sex mascara. That was like the only one that they had previous to this, but it just has like a little bit of a contour and I just, I really like the packaging and everything as well. But regardless of that, it just gives my eyelashes the most beautiful, insane volume and length. This is a great, great mascara. I've been really liking it lately and yeah. Also to do with the eyes, fun colors for the summertime. I've been experimenting with different shades of eyeliner. I mean, right now I'm just wearing a nude, so it's kind of boring, but they've all been these ones and these are by ColourPop. They are their creme gel liners. And I've actually been really, really enjoying all the different colors. So I wore this neon pink the other day and got so many compliments. I've worn this kind of like periwinkle blue and it just looks so unique on the eyes. And it glides on very, very easy and it actually stays there. It does not move. I just love all of them. So if you guys are looking for great eyeliners that are um, affordable and that actually show up really nicely if you're trying to play with color, then I think these are great ones. I just, I'm very subtle with my colors. So I'll do like a basic ass look like this and then I'll throw in like a bright blue or like a bright pink or something. And it just kind of like elevates your look without doing too much. And so. then I just have a couple more favorites left. The first lip favorite is this one. You guys know I'm a huge fan of the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, which is this guy right over here. But they recently came out with their Lip Glowy Balm and this is what it looks like. So this one, I won't, I'm not 100% sure if it's the same formula as a lip sleeping mask, but I will say that it is very, very hydrating. It's just a lot more shiny and 
and definitely glowy. Like I love that they named it a glowy balm. It's so cute. But they just have a little bit of color in them as well. They come in like four different like flavors. I always have this in my purse because whenever my lip color wears off or if it's just kind of faded, I will just like throw this on top it's for a little bit of color. So this is what I have been reaching for and it's just a cute little package. Um, and then moving on, ooh. One more lip favorite. Honestly, I'm very, very boring with my lips. I will usually wear the same shade over and over and over again. So I don't have like a ton of favorites that I'm always going back to. But one that I've kind of been playing around with is this one, which is by Live Tinted. It's made by a YouTuber slash influencer, Deepika. And um, yeah, she came out with these. They are amazing products. They're hue sticks. So I actually showed this in my last video as well as a color corrector, but I've been wearing it on my lips as well. It's a beautiful orange shade. I'll have that on my lips sometimes. And then what I recently got, which I didn't want to share in this video because I literally just got it and started wearing them, but they are Makeup Forever. It's their artist creme nude, or nude creme skin flattering liquid lipstick. So they came out with like a ton of pinkish nudes and browns that go well with like basically every single skin tone. And I truly think they do. Like they knocked it out of the park with this formula. It's very, very moisturizing. It lasts. And yeah, I really like it. So the shades that I've specifically been loving is 07 and 09. I like mixing those. They're kind of like a pinkish brown and then also like a true brown. And together they just look beautiful. So those are all of my beauty skincare favorites. So I'm just gonna go through a couple fashion faves. Uh, the first one being this, which is kind of cheating. I literally got it last week, but guys, I've been so obsessed with it. Um, I got this sweatsuit or suit, yeah, sweatsuit from um, Lou and Gray. I actually picked this up at a PR agency here in LA. And the girl there was like, girl, you really need to try this sweatsuit because they are so comfortable. And I did, and I literally wear this every single day, even though it's like the dead of summer. And I don't really care. <laughs> I just, I love them. They are the softest, stretchiest, most flattering, sweatpants I have ever worn. They're just so comfortable and so soft. I just wish you guys could feel this. Like, oh, I will have a picture over here of me wearing them. Um, I literally, the first day I wore them, I'm like, I need an Instagram photo in this because people need to know how soft this shit is. It is honestly life-changing. And that's what I have to say about these sweatpants. Oh, also I got the size large and they fit me perfectly. I have kind of like thick thighs. I don't have like a huge butt, but I have a little something something there and they fit perfectly. They're not too tight, um, but they're just tight enough. So uh, the next favorite is this over here, which these pairs I actually haven't worn before, but this brand in general and this style in general, I've really been liking. These are by the brand Rothy. That is the brand right over there. And these are, I believe, 100% recycled material. I think they make them out of plastic water bottles, which is kind of impressive. I just love how sustainable this brand is. So they're extremely sustainable. They're washable as well. You can throw them in the washing machine and they'll be clean again. Uh, the colors that I've actually been really liking is the the nude shade. Also, I've been wearing the pink ones. I just love them so much and I think it's such a unique idea and they kind of like give me Vans vibes, but they're so comfortable. I didn't even have to break them in and I've just been really liking them. I really like the nude shade in specific because they just match with everything that I've been wearing lately and they look very chic even though they're super comfortable. So love those. I would highly recommend you guys check out Rothy's. They have, I'm looking on their website now, they have like a ton of different styles. Mine is the sneaker. The nude pair that I was talking about is in the shade Sand, by the way. And they're about $125, which could be expensive, but um, for something that's very sustainable and that is actually helping the environment, I think they are pretty amazing. So. I have to chat about my favorite accessory that I've been so, so in love with. I'm sure you guys have seen this either in the Ramadan daily vlogs or on my Instagram if you follow me over there. And this is my new baby. This is my new Chloe purse. And I just wanted to splurge on a purse that was not black because I have my Chanel, which is black with um, uh, like gunmetal hardware. And then I have my YSL, which is also black with gunmetal hardware. And I'm like, okay, I just need something that's not black, that is still very cute and kind of matches my vibe recently. Love this. It's in the shade Biscotti Beige. And I actually bought this, I consigned it instead of purchasing it from the store. And because I'm like, listen, if I can get a better deal on this and it is pretty much brand new, I might as well. So um, there's a couple different sites that I really like to go on. One is the Real Real, um, but they were 
were all sold out out of this one and I was just too lazy to, or not too lazy, but too impatient to wait for them, uh, for someone to consign it again. Um, but then I went on a site called Vestier Collective. I will have it linked down below and they basically just have consigned stuff and they authenticate it as well to make sure that it is 100% real and authentic. It came with all of the receipts. It came from someone in France and I just absolutely love it. It came perfect. They were, there was literally not one scratch on it. It looked like they just wore it once actually didn't even look like they wore it. It looked like they bought it and then decided to sell it. So very happy about this purchase. It's so cute. I love that it's kind of like this bracelet bag. I know this has been a huge trend. It actually started by Chloe. And I just love that you can wear it as a bracelet or it does have a strap, which nine times out of 10, I'm using the strap. But um, when I want to be a little bit more fancy, then I will wear it on my wrist. And I think it's just such a classic timeless bag, totally worth the money. Um, just to give you an idea, it originally, I know the Canadian prices, not the US, but it originally goes for about 2,300 Canadian dollars. Um, that is 2,300, very expensive. But again, it is designer. And I actually found it on Vestier for $1,680, I think. That's how much I paid for it. So literally, a fraction of the price and there was no tax as well. So was very, very happy about that. But uh, that concludes my favorites, my current favorites. I am literally sweating up a storm right now. This has also been another favorite. I got it in Korea. I use it to set my makeup and also to fan my armpits, um, but that's besides the point. I will have everything that I mentioned in this video linked down below for you guys so you can find them. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. I know this video was kind of long, but are you really surprised all my videos are long? Your girl likes to talk and y'all like to listen apparently. So thank you, I appreciate that. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe, join the fam, get me to 300K. I'm so excited. Hashtag road to 300K is officially here. And give this video a like if you enjoyed it and wanna see more of my favorites videos. I might not do this every month. I probably won't do this every month, but at least I'll try to do it like every other month or something or every season, I don't really know. Let me know what you guys want from me and I will talk to you in my next video. I love you guys so much, bye. <laughs>